Hey guys, my name is Zora of Water, and today I'm gonna share with you a story. This has been a game that I've been wanting to play for a really long time, back before Let's Play was even a term. Probably in the early days of YouTube, where it was nothing but a bunch of goofy videos, random videos, and video game walkthroughs. I've been having a lot of... I don't, I don't know how you say it. I've been afraid of ever covering this game in my channel. This is one of my favorite games of all times, and it means so much to me because this was one of the first games that I decided to pick up and play through the end with, um... That wasn't a Pokemon game, to say the least. Uh, so it has a lot of nostalgic factors for me. But you know what? I need to just go ahead and cover this once and for all. I was worried that I wouldn't do a good job commentating it, and you know what? I'm already having trouble with this opening, so I'm just saying screw it. I'm going to cover this game, I love this game, and I want to show you guys why I love this game. And if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. Although I'm really glad I didn't do this as my first Let's Play, because man, no oh man, I uh, probably wouldn't have done a good job at it. Um, but yeah. This this is a Japanese roleplay game, and as such, there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes. And let me tell you, this opening, like these first few episodes are gonna be really unstable. It's gonna flip back between gameplay and cutscenes so many times. My commentary is gonna be shot out the roof. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Complaining and whining aside, let me be let me be the first to say welcome to my new let's play of Final Fantasy X. Okay, so already I am irked about one thing. This is actually the remaster, the HD remaster of Final Fantasy X. Th that opening cutscene actually plays twice. Once after you select Final Fantasy X from the main menu, and the one that you just saw. And the one that, uh, the very first one, it actually does say HD remaster, and this one doesn't, and you know what, that's just... That's just something minor that I shouldn't be complaining about. Haha! <laughs> yeah, so this is on the PlayStation 4. It's a game that came out on the PlayStation 2. So there are gonna be a few moments of graphics, animations, and... Oh man, voice acting. I... I've been a, a big fan of yours from the very beginning. I won't let you down. Thanks! I mean, granted, I'm not the one to be a stickler about voice acting, but man, oh man, after uh, playing some other games recently, the, it, the difference is quite clear. Hey, how are you feeling? Great as ever, thanks. Yeah, we're cheering for you. The game tonight, it's very important. Also, this is what I meant by kind of like, unstableness. Some of these characters have voices, some of them don't, and then we get into flipping and flopping cutscenes. It's gonna be hell for me. Are you gonna show us that shot tonight? Uh, hmm, I don't know. Maybe. You should do it for us. Also, granted, I did not know we could actually talk to any of these people. I only just discovered it recently and, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. 
There's, um... I think there's something wrong with this picture. There's two of the same kid. Two of the same kid models in this... Y you know what? No, I'm just gonna talk to these fine ladies. Can I have your autograph? Of course. Alright, starting off with the Avenger. I saw that kid creepily staring at me between the girls. Oh god, this is not gonna be good. Uh, here we have our main protagonist, the character we are going to be controlling in this Final Fantasy adventure. His name is Titus. For the longest time, I thought he was named Titus because, spoiler not spoiler, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not really a spoiler at all. This game, no one ever says his name. Not a single damn person says this guy's name. As such, I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people also made that mistake. The only reason why I'm for sure known as Titus, not just because this was made in Japan, it's because when Dissidia came out, Dissidia is a fighting Final Fantasy game or something like that, they pronounced it as Titus. As such, until otherwise noted, that is canon. Ugh. Anyways, um, I'm not- I'm not a person who would rename things if they actually have a canon name. Although, for this guy, because no one says his name, the canonicity could be a little bit iffy. Uh, I'm not gonna go too deep into that, so I'm just gonna keep his name the way it is. You know, if I actually hit the yes button instead of the no button. Good luck tonight! Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal... I'll, uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? East block in the front row! Fit from the right! Got it. Oh, that wonderful squeak in her voice that I've grown accustomed to the amount of times I've played this opening, uh, opening cutscene thing. Whatever. Kid time! Can you sign this? No prob. Please? Alrighty. Me too! <laughs> Take it easy. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three... She just had a blitz! Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then, teach us after! Maybe tonight? Um, well... You can't tonight. I mean, tomorrow. Promise? Promise! in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, checked, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa, <laughs> didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup Tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks.
Make way, make way. Coming through, sorry. Hey, I'm gonna be late. Hey, let go of me. said that these few episodes were gonna be a little bit unstable I was mostly talking about this first one yeah anyways can I actually talk to these people nope cannot interact with the people or the fleeing people and now they're pushing me okay fine let's get out of here
grief as I am given about the uh, un unstable cutscenes and gameplay, at least it's doing us a favor and getting us right into battle within at least the first episode. So right here, Final Fantasy X has a turn-based gameplay. Unlike all of the other Final Fantasy games where it's more active time battle, um, half turn-based, half action, yada yada, I can try to explain that later, just not now. Right here, we can actually do attack, item, if we had any skills, uh, we could use those, what Titus doesn't have any. Uh, we can switch out weapon and armor as well. On the upper right over here, this, this shows whose turn it is, as well as what enemies or allies' turn will come afterwards. And depending on what thing we hit, um, that's gonna actually change up a bit. It also tells us which enemy we're targeting and which ally we're trying to select as well. So this first battle, this act, this first three sin scales here, they don't attack at all. Oh, by the way, you can also guard with triangle here. They don't attack at all, so there are actually a few things you can do in this first battle by uh, taking advantage of them not attacking. I don't want to do that because I'm going to be here for a really long time. I just want to get through. After all of them, cut the ones that matter and run. Alright, so if we attack the ones from behind, God, if I can select them. Freaking. So, Mom Fancy 10, you can't actually move the camera. So, whatever um, camera position is set in battle, it. Uh, you're gonna have to change a way of how you're gonna select enemies and allies. You have to use a D pad to even switch between the two of them. But right here, I'm trying to. I was trying to s select these sin scales from the back to show you they'll always and forever respawn. And I have to use the left and right part of the D pad to do that. And before, I was using up and down on the D pad to select the enemies. A little bit weird, and that was an overkill, Orin. What the hell? Alongside uh, attacking skills and whatnot, we have overdrives. In, uh, in all the other Final Fantasy games, they're called limb breaks. I'm not sure why they changed the name of this. Then again, they changed a lot of things from this game than the last nine games, so I guess that makes a little bit of sense. On the lower right of our screen, we have our character names, the HP and MP. MP is used for skills and magic and whatnot. 
and a bar that slowly gets filled up throughout the battle, given certain certain circumstances. Right now, Orange Bar is completely orange, and actually, it's forcing us to do an overdrive because tutorial is a thing. So, if we hit left on the D-pad, we can go over to his overdrive. We can actually use Dragon Fang, which, if I recall, is a bunch of button pressing. Yes, it is, and I'm gonna have to remember how to do that on an. So his Dragon Fang Overdrive will attack, will hit every single enemy on the field, which is really good. And that was a critical hit. That was not what I expected. Um, these first few battles, aside from the very first one where they just don't attack you, I don't think it's possible for you to lose. Especially this one because this boss does nothing but Demi. And Demi is a skill that only does a quarter HP every single time. So yeah. Looks like Titus has his overdrive bar filled up, so we're gonna go over to Swordplay, and he has Spiral Cut. Now, all the characters' overdrives are a little bit different to how you execute them. Orange was a bunch of button pressing, Titus's is, uh, timing. You have to hit the X button to match the timing on that little yellow square. And that was only a single target. It only, uh, well, it's hard to show because all the enemies are dead. But uh, it, I could only target one enemy with the Christ Almighty. Why are we getting so many criticals? I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just uh, I kind of want things to kind of slow down a little bit so I can explain things. That'd be super nice. But you know what? It's almost dead. So, Oren, go ahead and kill it off. Alright, so now that that thing, that thing is dead, I guess the sin scales over here aren't gonna come alive, which they're actually kind of pretty, and the little insects are creepy but a little bit cute. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we over here we have our first instance of a save spear, which I don't know why it says level 1. I mean, I think I know why, but we won't get to that until way later in the game. So you can actually save your game here, and it also restores your entire party's HP and MP. Meaning we don't have to heal Tidus and Orin right now. Now here's another gripe about this game that's just gonna be super petty and nostalgic. Uh, the save screen is the default PS4 save screen. Final Fantasy X had its own actual like save screen setup, and I have played a bunch of other uh, games that were kind of ported it over from the PlayStation 4 or remade in the PlayStation 4, and they had their own save screens. Why the heck did Final Fantasy get shafted? Like, honestly, it was so pretty. It was very blue, and that might be part of my bias, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> what are you laughing at, old man? Lauren, let's get out of here. We're expected. Huh? Give me a break, man! Alright, so we just have to kill off these guys. No problem, right? Uh, not exactly. It looks like they're gonna be respawning over and over again. And oh god! So if their wings start to flicker, it means they're about to ex they're about to use spine. It's basically a slightly stronger attack than their normal attack. So just kill off the one with the glowing spines, and we're all good. And that was the third one we killed. Is it gonna do anything? Nope. No sorry. Could be bad. That. Knock it down. What? Trust me, you'll see. That was a very forceful what, but you know what? It's uh kinda how I would react at the same time. For one, that is the weirdest tanker I've seen in my life. For two, why would you ever attack one? 
I would be I would be more afraid of it blowing up in my face every time I attacked it. Especially now it's sparking and making electric sounds. But anyways, just listen to Orin. Focus on nothing but the tanker. You're not gonna die to these spiners. And if you do, there is um I have questions and concerns and might be a little bit impressed that you managed to do that. Hey! Hey! My old man? Okay, I have no idea what kind of drugs T this is taking. But I kind of want them because now we are floating above our uh, desecrated city. Very dimly lit desecrated city, mind you. Uh, if we hold down, uh, not down. If we hold circle, we will kind of float our way down. And you're, you're gonna want to remember this because this is actually gonna be what we're using anytime we're in a swimming motion. So now we're gonna go to this old man who apparently turns into a kid! I thought about a lot of things. Like, where I was. What I got myself into. I started to feel... lightheaded. And then, sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. up in that ruins. So I, I never would have seen this before if I uh, had this on the TV. I'm actually playing this in a different setup. So uh, I'm able to see things a lot more clearly. That is a lot of freaking birds. Wow. Um, so yeah, that, that was the opening of this game. It was that being in that city was very short lived. So hopefully we can go back in there. Uh, that's actually going to be the end of this episode. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to keep these as progressful as I can but at the same time it's uh I don't want to have them too long 
I, it's going to be inevitable because it is an RPG, and RPGs are known to be super, super long. But yeah, um, that'll be the end of this episode. This is Zora Water signing out. I will see you guys in the next one.